Hello and welcome to our Make for Prosperity Week by the Mohammed bin Rashid Initiative for Global Prosperity. Throughout this week, you will meet our 20 Global Maker Challenge finalists, each of them presenting unique solutions during our four pitching sessions and competing for prizes and mentorship worth up to 1 million US dollars. This year, the Global Maker Challenge received more than 3,400 entries. And after a thorough review and assessment process by MIT University's SOLVE initiative and our expert panel of judges, five finalists have been selected within each of our four themed challenges. Innovation for peace and justice, sustainable and healthy food for all, innovation for inclusive trade and climate change. So when during these four days you get to know our finalists and their innovative solutions, make sure that you share your thoughts and impressions also on social media, simply by using our hashtag make for prosperity week So today we are kicking off the week with our first challenge, innovation for peace and justice, and the question, how can displaced populations access affordable and quality services that are essential to their safety and well-being? But first, and as an additional highlight, we start the day with a short yet insightful presentation by a successful entrepreneur and changemaker, Kenneth Kwok. Kenneth is founder and CEO of Global Citizen Capital, and he will talk about how the pandemic has magnified the digital divide. With most people turning to digital solutions, it has become more and more obvious how especially rural areas continue to suffer from low and poor connectivity. So today, Kenneth will share his thoughts on how we can effectively use 4IR technology tools to tackle current and unforeseen challenges. <laughs> 